Alright, hello there y'all. This is me, of course, John Dole. And we're here in Tokyo. As always. Now I thought we'd do something we haven't done in a long time. Let's do our comrades, let's talk video. So our first order of business was talk about the channel. Just a little bit. Uh, there's been a influx, small influx in uh, subscribers recently. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate you. It means a lot to me. It really does. It keeps me going. Also, we had a small milestone for the channel. Recently, we passed over 100,000 views. A small milestone compared to a lot of other people. But for this channel, it's something to mention. So, again, that comes down to you again. You've been watching the videos. You've been commenting. You've been spreading them around. Say, so, again, thank you so much. And one more thing, just uh, really quick. From time to time, people make requests on, you know, the comment section and other medias. For me to do videos, certain types of videos, well, I think the best way to go about it is to try to keep the request as broad as a topic as possible. But if it is something really exact, you, you can request that. But keep in mind, I do work a full-time job. And for something real minute and really exact, it will take me time to research it and gather enough information together to put together a video on it. So it may take a while before you get it. So I apologize if you don't get it right away. All right. So to bring up a topic, as I always try to do with these comments and talk videos, I've seen a lot of sentiment basically saying that screw the first world and screw first world workers. They can't do anything for anybody. They're useless in revolution. They're useless in changing the global mindset of society away from capitalism. You know, I get that. I understand that. I really do. But also, it kind of feels like that's really the wrong way to approach it and really the wrong way to go about it. It seems to not take into account that Workers globally, no matter who they are or where their situation, are workers. And they experience similar things. They're all being exploited. Just their degree of exploitation is different. And their material understanding of the world around them is different. But that's no reason, when I look at it dialectically or materialistically, materialistically just discredit first world workers and first world people. Yeah, I know we see actions that people in the first world take a lot of times. We know that's not really going to get the job done. But they're out there trying. And it, it, over time, you see, it helps them to understand things. Thing, people under, people's awareness and class consciousness build slowly over time. It doesn't happen overnight. Things have to happen. They have to struggle. They have to go through a process of radicalization. And if each action they take or each experience they have, they gain more awareness. And instead of just immediately damning people and saying, you're screwed up, that isn't going to work, uh, you know, and being like that, I think it may be better to simply calm ourselves, comrades. And instead of, you know, dogging people, in the first world. Point out where it, what they're doing, while it's a step in the right direction, it doesn't really get it done. Explain to them how they can use what they've done as a springboard to do things far more revolutionary and be far more resistant to capitalism. So we need to tone it down a little bit and understand these things. That radicalization is a process. Awareness and class consciousness is a process, step by step. So please keep that in mind. The next time you see something that people in the first world have done as a form of activism or a form of protest or a form of resistance, and when we break it down, analyze it, we know that's not really going to spark true revolutionary thought. But we do know it's a step and their understanding and awareness and support them and encourage them to do more, to be more radical, but also guide them and be a bit nicer about pointing out the faults and what they're doing. But if you dog people, you're real negative to people and harsh and everything they do, 
They're not going to want to try to do more. They're not. So calm ourselves. And remember that we're all workers. We're all in this together. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you see me, hey, clickety click, subscribe. I'm sure you'll like it. You'll get lots of vids like this, extra surprises things, okay? So until next time, this is your comrade John Doe here in Tokyo. Check it out.